Hello, my sweet planty friends. It's Fern. What's up? Welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be very chill, very low key. But you guys have told me that you like these kind of just like relaxed plant updates. I'm just going to kind of talk about my plant shelf, let you know how everybody's doing. Shortly after I moved a couple of months ago, I posted an unboxing video of my Mars Hydro TS 600 light, which is right there. So I thought I would talk about it a little bit, kind of give my thoughts on it, a mini review, I guess. So I'm not a super techie person when it comes to grow lights and whatnot. So I'm basically just going to give you my experience and let you know slash show you how the plants are doing. As you guys know, I do have a couple of Mars Hydro grow lights. They are my favorite grow lights ever. I think they make such a huge difference. And my plant room is basically powered by these grow lights. I have the window closed right now and it's like the sun is in here. So um, yes, a lot of my plants grow solely just from these lights. Anyways, I have a Mars Hydro SP150, I believe. And then yes, the TS600. So um, you guys know that I love Mars Hydro and I get a lot of questions about um, the difference between the two lights and do I like this one um, as much as this one and da 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 da. So I thought I would just kind of, um, kind of talk about that. I'm actually going to be getting a different model of a Mars Hydro Grow Light that I will be setting up. So I'm gonna have three different ones soon. Um, but spoiler alert, I love both of these lights. I'm sure I will love the new one as well. But yes, soon I am going to be upgrading this plant shelf, which is what inspired me to film this video and just talk about um, how everything is going with the Mars Hydro TS 600. <laughs> so many codes and numbers to remember. Um, okay, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I just wanted to answer the question of um, which grow light I prefer between my TS600 and my SP150. And my answer is that they are both fantastic. And the only really noticeable difference to me is that this light is better suited for the type of shelves that I have because it kind of perfectly covers the amount of area that I need covered. As you can see, it's obviously long and slender and this one is more square, so it still provides light to the whole shelf. I just kind of prefer that this one is longer so it's kind of like even bright light along the whole shelf. But when it comes down to quality and how the plants enjoy it, they honestly are both fantastic. Um, I believe that this one is cheaper, so if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, then this is probably the way to go. But yeah, that's honestly like the shape <laughs> and the amount of area they cover is really like the only thing I've noticed. My plants freaking love both of these lights. They are fantastic. Um, yes, and I am obsessed as well. However, that being said, even though this one is square and not as long, it does provide pretty impressive lighting to the plants beside my shelf. And I will show you an example of how much this Monstera likes this light. So it is November. Um, where I live is very rainy and dark, which is why it's like not even a big deal for me to keep this closed. It sometimes is open, but I'm filming and... Yeah. So this Monstera primarily gets light from being beside that Mars Hydro grow light. And look at the leaf that it just put out. It's not even hardened yet. It is fresh. Oh my goodness. This is like, it doesn't get much more perfect than this leaf. I love it so much. It's the biggest and most fenestrated leaf that this Monstera has put out. This is my Monstera that I raised from being a tiny, tiny plant, like this big. <laughs> I've had it since it was a baby, so it's so cool to see it mature. I actually took a cutting for my friend Shannon, and it's right under here on the shelf, and it's putting out a new leaf too. I can't even believe it. And it's also put out a new leaf here as well. So obviously this Monstera is very happy with just being beside this grow light. And also I have a bunch of cuttings here that I'm growing and the primary light that they get is from being next to this shelf as well. So that's just how powerful these lights are. I did have some of you telling me that my plants were too close 
and I need to dim the light. However, this model you cannot dim. So um, just something to note if you are looking for that feature. The new lights, which I will be posting about um, probably in the next week or so, um, is dimmable. So I'll be able to make that comparison for you guys once I have um, uh, that light as well. Then I'll have three to compare and that one will be dimmable. So <clears throat> yes. Um, okay, so let's get to the shelf. Oh yeah, also, I'm so distracted by the plants like near it because I just think it's so impressive. Um, look at how large my variegated Maranta is. Like, she is massive. She's just constantly putting out new leaves and she's literally on the floor just between these two plant shelves and she is so happy, I can't believe it. As well as my Stingray Alocasia is just putting out a new leaf as well. Anyways, okay, the shelf, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to be giving you kind of an overview of what I have going on here and how they've responded um, to this light. I do have an upcoming new full plant tour in the works, so that's why I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, I will just give you a general idea of what's happening on this shelf here. Okay, so I love using these grow lights for my propagation. So I do have a propagation box here. There's actually not too much in here right now, um, but they are pretty much all rooted. I honestly um, can probably take them out of here. But um, yes, I am constantly like switching up which cuttings I have in there. And they have done so well in a moss box just on the top shelf below the light here. Same with, I have another one here. I think I've showed you guys this. It's my Hoya fungi, I think. And this is just from a wet stick propagation and it's putting out leaves. So I can't even believe that. Freaking amazing. Um, yes, it is very happy here as well. I have some other things rooting here. Some Hoya, um, my Syngonium black, which has lost all of its leaves um but it's actually rooting so i'm just leaving it there in moss and letting it chill some other cuttings that um need highlight my philodendron white stripe which or what is it silver stripe philodendron silver stripe um which i was talking about in my philodendron video um you guys were telling me that it needs a lot of light to keep the variegation and yes that's definitely true so that's why it's on the shelf here as well my syngonium elbow which has just been honestly a problem child which i know people say it's so easy and i don't know why it's not for me um it was doing nothing it was just losing leaves i repotted it and put it under my mars hydro and it is giving me new growth as you can see there so Thank goodness, because I really don't want to lose this plant. I love it so much. I used to have a large plant of it, and this is all I have left. So don't even ask. I don't know what's going on. Other cuttings that are rooting up here. Um, oh my goodness. This one is dry, dry, dry. Oh, I'm sorry. I will give you a water. I will say that you really have to be on top of watering when you have plants under these grow lights, because they're very powerful, and they will dry your plants out. So yes, just keep that in mind. Okay, over here I have my silver sword that I'm converting to LECA and that is something I really like to do as well is when I'm converting a plant to LECA, I like to put it under these lights because it's so bright and helpful for root development because it's so bright and just kind of gives them that extra boost that they need. Um, I know people say that when you're uh, converting plants to LECA, you should have them in a bright spot. So this works perfectly for that. Same with rooting up cuttings. Um, as well, I like to put my new Hoya, I'll use this as an example, I like to put my new Hoya under my Mars Hydro lights because um, when I first get Hoya as cuttings, they kind of take a while to establish and take off. And it's really helpful for me to just give them a very bright light until they kind of, um, you know, become established and are able to push out some growth. So this guy I've had under these lights for almost a couple of months now, I think, and I can see um, it's finally pushing out some new growth from there. So that's very exciting. I have so many cuttings that have just really taken off. So um, yes, I can just, I just can say so many good things about these lights. Okay, down onto my lower shelf here. Um, I like to keep this shelf for plants that don't need, don't need as intense of light or plants that I'm worried about burning, etc. So I, I switch them out all the time. Um, it's not like super full down here right now. 
but we'll talk about it quickly. So this Raven ZZ I actually used to have on the top shelf and then I started noticing some discoloring and I don't know if it's bleaching um, from the light. I have noticed um, a couple of plants of mine get bleached leaves from being right under the Mars Hydro. So I'm just moving it down and seeing how it does here because it still gets really good light. It's just not as intense. And then other plants like my Alocasia and Calathea, they don't need to be under that like scorching light. So they are very happy on the second shelf here. I have a Marble Queen that I put in Lekka to kind of redeem myself from my Lekka fails. It gave me my confidence back. And my Hoya Pubicalix is happy here. This plant is always happy. It's so chill. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up. That is my thoughts on my Mars Hydro setup, specifically my newest shelf with the TS600 um, and just how my plants are doing. Just different plants and purposes and ways that I use it. And um, yeah, just kind of letting you know how everybody is doing around this amazing grow light. Oh, I also have propagations there as well. So yeah, I need to hang that on my wall, but it's just hanging out there for now and they are doing well. Okay guys, I'm going to close out the video. Feel free to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about my setup, about the lights. I will try to answer them if they're not too technical. Um, and I will leave the lights linked in the description box. Also, oh, if you didn't know, if you haven't seen my previous videos, Mars Hydro did send me both of these grow lights. However, all opinions are always my own and you can look at their reviews online. They're fantastic. They are just fantastic grow lights. I would not have to lie to say that. I love them so much. So once again, thank you guys so much. I hope that you're cool with this like relaxed kind of video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And yes, I would love to chat with you in the comments. Give this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more planty content. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.